This week on Hunt and Fall. So as soon as he stops, you take him. He's going to stop right on the ridge line. Kick him from the right. Which one? Join Doug Latham and his daughter Emma for a journey through the mountains of New Zealand that you don't want to miss. Located on South Island, New Zealand, along the Pacific Ring of Fire, lies the soaring heights of the Southern Alps. Cut through by glacial valleys and freezing lakes, this towering 500 kilometer long mountain range peaks at 3,724 meters above sea level. In the heart of these treacherous and remarkable mountains are some of the most fruitful locations to hunt a number of exotic game species. Harvesting a single animal on this astonishing range would be a dream come true. But Doug Latham and his daughter Emma have come for several, including red stag and fallow deer. Doug, a hunting full member for just over two years, was born and raised in Dalhart, a rural agricultural town on the northern panhandle of Texas. He grew up dove and quail hunting on family land under the guidance of his father and grandfather and had shot his first mule deer by the time he was 15. Having graduated from Texas Tech with a degree in business, Doug spent several years in the commercial real estate business before moving back to Dalhart to begin his career as a rancher and farmer. His daughter Emma is a young hunter whose interest in the sport has grown under his influence. Doug got tickets for a hunt and full giveaway the previous year and selected the New Zealand hunt as it had always been a dream destination. He found out he had won while working late one night and listening to a voicemail hunt and full had left him. Overwhelmed, he immediately woke up his family and told them incredible news. Bringing along his entire family on this remarkable trip, he and Emma are ready to take home some of the most exotic animals the country has to offer. So join us as father and daughter bond on this incredible hunt through the grandeur of the Southern Alps. Hunting encompasses every part of your life. You plan, you research, you map out every last detail. And when your drive for hunting is everything you do, you then become a hunting fool. It is difficult to venture to the Southern Alps of New Zealand's South Island without being in awe of its spectacular scenery. Miles of high mountain ranges formed by the collision between two of the Earth's crust plates beneath it, the Southern Alps is rich in geographical and cultural history, dating back to the native people of New Zealand, the Marahi. Now here to make their own history, father and daughter hunters, Doug and Emma Latham, are getting ready to go after two of the island's most majestic species, the red stag and the fallow deer. I got the phone call from hunting fool one afternoon at work and I didn't take the call because I was busy working, didn't recognize the number. I, got, I later listened to the message 
I couldn't believe that I won the trip to New Zealand. It was unbelievable. That night, I, I went on and did some more work, woke up, and uh, ran in and told my wife at midnight that, that we'd won it. My name is Emma Latham. I'm from Dalhart, Texas, and I'm here because my dad won this hunt from hunting pool. One thing about Gary's Hunting Lodge is that we get to come here and enjoy time with me and my family. Hunt and Fool makes sure that each hunter is paired with the right guide, and Jason Smith was the one for this job. So one of the first things we do here is, is on arrival to the lodge is check all the rifles to make sure nothing has been knocked out or anything like that. You know, you always shoot in different positions, whether it's laying down or it's standing on a, some shooting sticks or something, so it's always good to check just to be 100% sure. Those three there are touching. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't really. Maybe move it two clicks, but that's yep. it. I don't really think I want to mess with it. No. Much. If you want me to keep shooting it, I will. But I'm no, I just, I just shift it over a bit. Confident with the adjustment on the rifles, the hunters pack up and head back to the lodge to take in the amenities Huntful has provided them with. To make Doug and Emma's New Zealand exploration even more unforgettable, Hunt and Fool provided the two of them and their family with a lodge setting worth calling a home away from home, making it a little easier to prepare them for the challenges coming the next morning. Hunt and Fool is brought to you by Matthews Archery. Catch us if you can. Huskama. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Red Rock Precision. The ultimate long range shooting solution. And Hunt and Fool. Your complete hunting resource. This segment is brought to you by Auto Farm. Fun, simple, and transparent. Your personal guide to your next ride. Hunting full member Doug Latham, along with his daughter Emma, are hunting the Southern Alps, thanks to a raffle win provided by Hunting Full. After performing crucial sighting adjustments on their firearms, under the observation and assistance of New Zealand guide Jason Smith, the hunters got re-energized from their continental flight by taking in a much needed night's rest. Now, at the crack of daybreak, the team gears up and treks out to the countryside, hoping to score their first harvest of a five game trip. We're gonna go out and look for a stag this morning and see if uh, we find a gold stag or maybe Emma a management stag and uh, just see what kind of animals we find out here really pumped up to go. It's our first day in New Zealand and I hope that we can go shoot a couple of stags today. Even though the crew was out looking for stag, they were keeping their eyes open for everything New Zealand has to offer. And just so happened, they came across a large fallow bar. See him right there, isn't it? Look, the main group there, but he's out to the left all by himself. We'll try and get on him if we can. Though not expected so early, an open hillside opportunity on a regal fallow spurs Jason to quickly position Emma for her first target.
Good shot. Oh, did I get him? Yeah, yeah. Awesome shot. Yeah, sorry, Just come out on the ridge line there. Up high. Next shot. Oh, I see him. Oh my gosh, I shot him in the neck. Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. That's the best place to hit him. In the neck? Yep. That was a pretty tough shot, man. He was quartering away. Awesome shot. We'll just keep an eye on him. Just relax there for a second. Well, I was aiming at the shoulder, but then he kind of quarter yeah, moved, so I think that. Slightly, wasn't so I think that that's what happened. We got the him. We got him anyway. That's him. Yeah, you got him anyway. Pick him up for you on the group. He was sort of up here. I don't even know why I came. <laughs> <laughs> With an impressive one-shot kill, 12-year-old Emma has the first New Zealand trophy for the Texas natives. This is a really, really good buck. Look at that. Awesome, man. Well done. That's cool. That's a really cool buck. See all this twisted in stuff here? Super heavy for a fellow buck. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That, he wouldn't That's even so cool, Emma. Normally a timid animal, offering a high degree of hunting difficulty, this fallow was caught with his guard down in the open, rather than hiding in the scrub and tree lines, as is most common. Still, having seen many fallow deer harvested in his time, Jason is impressed with Emma's performance. 240, 250 bit. Wow. A lot bigger than some of those. Some of those guys have got the paddles up here, but they've got none of this. No, there's all this twisted stuff and this extra. And that's super heavy for a fellow. He is heavy. Yep. Yeah, really heavy. Wow, Emma. You didn't waste any time. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that a 12 year old could get this kind of quality of animal. What a great hunt. Unbelievable fallow buck. He's all gnarly and turned up. What a, what a really neat, neat animal. A harvest this early means that a full celebration will have to wait, as Jason has another Texan that is itching to set his trigger on this great island's next big offering. Did you know that Hunt and Fool is now booking hunts around the world on six different continents? Members can utilize Hunt and Fool's worldwide outfitter specialist to ensure their hunt will be everything they've dreamed of. Go to huntfinder.com to book your hunt today. This segment is brought to you by PhoneScope, the future of digiscopy. When Hunt and Fool sends its members on hunts, it typically stands to reason that the hunters are in a once in a lifetime experience. For member Doug Latham and his daughter Emma, venturing through the Southern Alps of New Zealand, thanks to Hunt and Fool, is rapidly becoming an unforgettable trip as Emma just scored a majestic fallow buck at sunrise on day one. Energized by his daughter's first harvest, Doug is on the move, anxious to set his sights on the next opportunity. One of the things I did on this trip to get ready was make sure I was in good shape and I did a lot of hiking about three months up to the trip. Hiking, hiking, hiking. The toughest thing on this hunt was probably the hiking. <laughs> Day two of the hunt here in New Zealand again with Doug and Emma. Emma made a great shot yesterday on a nice ram. One shot and he was down, so we're going to head out today and hopefully get on a nice stag and see if we can harvest one of them today, so it should be good. After not being in the field long, Jason spots a good herd of stag in the brush. They're all bedded in there, kind of. Mm. Just that nice bit of shape, the nitro on those days. How far are we? It's about 2.7. Okay. I can just barely see him. He's got this bush is right up my way. As Doug and Jason get into position, the whole herd starts to move and they realize there is more than just one good stag in this group. So what do you think the top one? Three top one. Hey. 
Which one? I'm picking from the right. Like the one on the top. Which, what do you think the top one? Not the one, but it's the right one. Not him, he's the one beside him. I think the top one? Yeah. Beautiful shot. Picking from the right. Not the one to get to the right one. Not him, he's the one beside him. There you go. Slow again. Did I hit him? I'm going to find him. Oh, there he is. Good job, eh? <laughs> we got yeah, a big steak. <laughs> That's a big steak down me. We're going to take a look, eh? Awesome. It's like it was low every time. Right. Awesome, eh? They dug right into the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? That's a big steak. That's awesome. That's wicked, eh? Those brown. A lot of scoring here up in the top. And these big long lot of times. Man, that's sweet. Yep, good stay. I just don't know how to thank Hunt and Fool and Gary Herbert's New Zealand hunting for bringing us out here and allowing us the opportunity to do this. When I got to take this massive stag, um, the hunt's been just top notch the whole way around, and just feel really, really blessed to be able to come over here and do this. Roll him that way and then I want to try and tuck that leg on. Roll him. Just. So after an extraordinary first day, culminating with two tags filled, father and daughter set their sights now on the modern comforts of their lodge. Of course, this is entirely in the spirit of getting ready to do it all over again tomorrow. This segment is brought to you by Scree, extreme mountain hunting gear. Perhaps the only thing better than filling two tags on the first day of a hunt is heading out the very next day to fill more. For Doug and Emma Latham, that's exactly what they're doing on an overseas excursion in New Zealand's Southern Alps. The snow is melted and the light of New Zealand blows on a new hunt day. And glassing wastes no time in turning up some of the island's most prized species. But today, the crew has set their sights on a management stag for Emma, and the opportunity comes knocking with the morning sun. Whoa. One of the things we do here in New Zealand with all our hunting areas is just they're well managed, so we have some animals that just aren't quite gonna make it. So. Um, I guess stag's going backwards, or that's why we're sort of hunting a management stag today for him. With this many sightings, it's only a matter of time until Jason finds a perfect opportunity for Emma to get her management stag. Just wait a second, we just got to, he's all, he's done, he's done. Oh, Shot. oh man. <laughs> <laughs> that so, was cool. 
Saving on ammo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. That's a great shot. It was. I got to see it too. It was cool. I don't know where he went though. Yeah. That yeah, was really Good cool. Good shot. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Tell him thanks. Pretty awesome. Yeah. No worries. Are you eh? shaking? Yeah. <laughs> you got the buck fever? It's all right. We've been on him for as bad as you. I think I was going to try to Oh man, that was cool. To be able to share this moment with his daughter is an experience that Doug will never forget. He never gave so up on him. That's <laughs> cool. This is the luckiest 12 year old alive today. His fur is like really pretty. Rick is to come to New Zealand and hunt that. Stay on him all day like that. <laughs> awesome, huh? Well done. With three animals down, Doug and Emma are off to an incredible start on their adventure through the Southern Alps. But with several tags still left to fill, they're far from done from this dream hunt. Make sure to catch part two of this extraordinary journey as father and daughter continue their travels through some of the most remote terrain New Zealand has to offer. Closed captioning is brought to you by Realtree's family of patterns, family, friends, and the outdoors. I'm not going to do any of those things with those girls on the celebrity show, so... They <laughs> 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 just do one of those. You know, they start the show and the girls are like... <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't put that on it. <laughs>